Hello everybody, welcome back to more Nova Drift. We are obviously going to make the game very hard now. Nah, not quite. Because we obviously did so good. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know what's good in this game. But I felt like we uh, we held our own for being brand new to the game. I don't think we really want to up any difficulty. I think for this episode we will slap on Wild Metamorphosis though. Which adds a score bonus? Really? I don't know why. I didn't necessarily consider it to be much harder. Uh, so the fact that it adds a score bonus, I, I'm very happy about. It. Sure. Score and uh, and experience being probably the more key part of that because more experience begets more score, at least indirectly, you know? Like, if you get stronger, you're probably going to make it further. But I'm very pumped to be back at this. I... Oh my god, okay, maybe this is- maybe they do have more HP or something, and that's why they're tougher. Oh my god, why does this always <laughs> happen? Uh, we're- put it back on space. Alright. Resume run. Okay. Good. We got our upgrade there. Decline gear swap. I guess we could. Interesting, we're starting with upgrading this instead of our weapon. EMP, reflect... Reflects enemy projectiles with boosted power. Enemies within your shield effect are targeted. Plus 900% damage to affected enemy weaponry. And extra velocity. I don't know. It sounds good to me. Also, I like the color. I wish I... This is a, this is a silly little thing that probably doesn't and shouldn't matter. But I kind of wish that it said what color <laughs> it would make your, uh, your shields and everything. Okay, so I'm just trying to sit here to reflect the projectiles. I kind of want to get hit by one to sort of see how it works. I know we have used it in the, uh, we used it in the Let's Try video, but we did not use it in this series here yet. Oh my goodness. Huge thank you for the, uh, overwhelming support on the start of the new series as well. I, you know, loud and clear that you guys are uh, enjoying the game. I, I hope it's loud and clear that I'm enjoying the game as well, because it's been a very good time. Spectre, that's the cloaking. Enhances shield capabilities. Interesting. Sure. So now we reflect back e even more. Like, I kind of want to be hit by stuff because I want to see it reflect back. The shield gets recharged after this. Okay, so it just gets recharged back up to full. So we can kind of play around with it a little bit. We can kind of intentionally be hit by some stuff. Okay, <laughs> we, we dodged all of it on accident. All right, well, let's get our weapon, which we apparently skipped. We must have skipped. That would explain it. Weapon that expends hull to charge up and release a slow-moving roiling vortex. Let's, let's wait on that one. Banishes all mods currently offered to you. Banishes. Meaning they're never going to show up again? Grants rerolls and reduces your size. Let's get stupid. So it reduces our size. Does it reduce our sh little uh, reflector shield as well? Hold on. I just realized that we don't really want to be doing that if we are not... Uh, if they're not in range of us. Man, I can't believe... I, I must have skipped my weapon. I must have. I wouldn't understand any other scenario right now and the blaster I don't know maybe there's like an achievement <laughs> for beating the game with just the blaster or something but holy mole man it's so bad all right we're getting around here I'm, I'm I want to charge into it because quite frankly we are in a, we are in a pickle we got a reroll which is cool Okay, good. Powerful short-range electromagnetic burst. I'm gonna just go for that. Okay, this is really a very different kind of a build. We're pretty close range. So I, I, are those shots, those little flak shots also? Definitely increase the shield effect radius. So, uh, you know, if we are uh, up near somebody, we get some extra little shots blasted at us, but there's nobody else near us. 
I send it back. Oh, okay. All right, there's a uh, there's some fun to be had here today. This is definitely very different. That's always one major thing that I uh, I have issues with in some roguelikes is if every run just doesn't quite feel that different from each other. It's usually a problem for me. Uh, focus shields. What's this? Greatly increases the regeneration rate at the cost of reserving some of your max hull and shields. So, regeneration rate. Is that for only my hull damage? Causes you to be offered up one additional wild mod per level. Weapon damage and projectile size. Oh my god, what have I done? I think we might want to reroll this here. I see, I don't really want to if we're going to be, you know, intentionally reflecting stuff, then I think we're going to want to uh hmm. Adds passive shield regeneration. Shields regenerate a rate proportional to maximum shields. I think we're going to want to go with that so that we can pick up the upgrade after it. Uh but I, I don't really want to sacrifice... Oh, boy. What is this going to be like? I don't really want to sacrifice any of our uh, of our shielding. Woo! Woo! <laughs> this is... You know? I'm sorry, mister. Sucks to suck. I mean, like, I think a fire rate up would actually be pretty beneficial for us. I'm really, like, I'm I'm surprised at how effective this, uh, this weapon actually even is. I think, like, thrusters and, like, a fire rate up, which very well could be part of the things that we banished. <laughs> very well could be part of that. Uh, greatly improves regeneration rate, but eliminates your shield entirely. No. Improves your max shields. Yes. Because I, I, I think there's going to be some situations where I'm just going to want to reflect things on purpose. Just like, feel like, okie dokie. Run right through. Run right through. I'm going to have to aim a little bit better at it. Eh, they don't even home in. I wonder if they would gain the homing property if we gained the, if we picked it up. I think that passive shield regen is going to be something we're going to really want to look into as well. <laughs> if a hit to your shields exceeds the threshold. Yeah. It does give us a slower shield cooldown, but I think I'm okay with that because I'm going to want to go for the, uh, the passive regeneration. Anyways, I think that that could work pretty well together. I really like every single run I've had has felt so different from each other. And I love that. <laughs> I think I would it'd be fun to get the thing that lets us uh, kill enemies by charging through them easier as well. I think that'd be great. Whoop. But this is just the beginning, baby. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh no. There we go. I should have looked at what the other options were, but a passively regenerating shield seems like it's exactly what we need if we're going to be uh, intentionally taking some of those shots. Whee. Hello, sir. All right. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> there's probably a build where that is like viable, and that's fantastic. The extra crazy thing is that this might be it. 
greatly increases shield resilience, massively reduces maximum haul. Let's do it. Oh my god. You weren't kidding. You weren't kidding. I kind of want to take a hit just to see. See what it's like now. Oop. Okay. I mean, yeah, maybe if it was like homing, it'd be a different story. These guys seem like a rough go for me. Ah, this guy. We're gonna need to basically just like slip right inside there. We are just a little minnow. Just a little punk. <laughs> We're gonna die. Oh no! What even? Should I take a couple of these? It's risky business. But hey, I mean, that's what we're about right now, right? Vulnerability detected? I know. Wait, is it only like... Does it take extra damage during that or something? Or what? Boy, we are... Oh. Okay, those, those we don't want to get hit by. Like, just at all. We can't reflect those. But our damage is pretty garbage at the moment for this. Aha! Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Oh, get out! Get out! Shield the discharge energy in response to taking damage. Yes! Ooh. That's definitely leaning into it even more. Oh, so those do, like, super damage to our shields, huh? I mean, that regen rate is bumping, though. I know I should get in there. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love that this is a thing. I love that this is a thing. All right. Greatly increases shield effect at the cost of the radius. That might be fine. Did we get rid of all... Of pretense of like increasing our damage I feel like we might have honestly more power to it right to this run okay grant self damage resistance at the cost of increased damage nope adds burst fire increases your rate of fire wild mod okay you're wait what minus rate of fire Construct assembly speed, faster shield cooldown, and your shield effect power is increased by your current speed. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> oh my god. My dream is a reality! Oh, but we have to be so careful, though. Like, there'll be a certain enemy that just, like, will toast us. Oh, boy. Alright, we gotta be careful here. <laughs> he says as he rips into the middle of a... Space worm. I mean, this is just... A, it's just a completely different play style than the other runs we've had recently. Oh. We gotta be careful. We gotta we gotta slowly wait. Regenerate our shields. Good, we're good. We've done it. Just wanted to focus everything I had on making sure we uh, got back to full there. Cause your next three upgrades to contain only the recursive weaponized shield. Targets within the weaponized weaponized effect take bonus twenty percent total bonus damage. Sure. Improves th thrust. I do want to go for that. Our radius is very small. Oh boy. I send it back.
Oh wait, no. The which radius is the increased damage? Is it just probably the little one? Oof. Yikes. Alright. Uh greatly increased the radius at the cost of max shields and cooldown. No, probably not. Deal more damage the more damaged you are. Uh Damage proportions of... Averages damage proportions of both your hull and your shields. That sounds good for us. We are constantly trying to be pretty darn damaged. Did you see that? We just gonna do that. We just gonna do it. And the only uh, penalty is the fact that we are very scary and going to probably die. Blap. Like, we are doing so much damage, and we have not once upgraded, like, damage in a normal sense. And I love that about us. I love that about us. We are just a little, tiny pest. <laughs> regeneration rate. Wait. Plus 45% regeneration rate. 15% of your max hull and shields are reserved and can't be recovered. Always. The cost of always thrusting. Wait. 7% global damage. Wait, this one stacks, though, doesn't it? Increased damage, max hull, max shields, the cost of always thrusting. Oh. It's not that big of a penalty. I mean, it's bad, and we're going to die. But also, it's a very funny idea. To me, at the very least. Whoop. Okay, I do like that we do. Oh my god, yeah, it's it's a it's a problem, it's a problem, and I love it. Okay, at least we can control ourselves a bit, you know. Oh, <laughs> what the hell? We just just go circles around him. I can't get hit by your attack if I, even if I tried, mister. Yeah, I was going to say that. Move is going to come through where he does that. He's going to pull his orbs in. Oh, that. <laughs> oh, my God. Singularity detected. Why would you do this to me? Why now? It's like some super move coming up or what? Oh, my God. Did he cause that somehow? It's okay. We uh, we get hit. He uh, he just dies basically as a result too. So okay, but only if there's just certain things that will reflect. <laughs> oh my God! We almost like kind of died a little bit there. Projectile size, damage, blast radius, improved thrust. I don't know if I want improved thrust thrusters. Well, it depends. Does it improve the thrusters of the wild mod here? You gain constant. Okay, that's that phrasing helps. You gain constant added thrust power. Which makes it sound like if I do this, it'll just ha make it so that I have more control over myself. I'm gonna go with some. I'm gonna go with some damage to our actual attack now, for once. Boop. Boop. <laughs> Drive by. I'm gonna be off. Scroll. Oh my god. Where am I? Oh my god. My velocity is uh, a little too much for me. Did we just send that all back? Did that work? Well, I mean, I shouldn't have taken that damage, but we were fine. You gain weapon damage. 
well... I don't care about rear firing. Oh. <laughs> I see. Okay. This actually seems pretty good. Because the downside of this is normally that it's like... You know, probably all scattered. And it propulses you. It's not that big of a downside for this current weird as hell thing that we're doing. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, what? <laughs> I can't believe that this is a good enough build to last this long. That makes me so excited for this game. Uh, provides plating, recoil resistance, and self-damage resistance. Is running into an enemy self damage technically? What's the what's the downside? Is there down is there no downside at all to this one? It seems like there's not really a downside to that one. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Wait, just let's circle. Yeah, we got that shield back. Hello. <laughs> Good morning. So, the shot now does only go behind me. I guess that that's the... Uh... Oh. It normally was a 180 degree arc. But now it's only behind me? that what I'm uh what I'm learning oh boy I'm coming for you big boy I don't know I feel like we might have uh you know banished that one thing so we probably gain wait your thrusters launch fireballs that deal 250 240 do that does does it burn me? It doesn't seem like it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Doesn't seem like I can be hurt by him, which is good. I was just, uh, I had the fear that there was the chance that fire was always, oops, potential self-harm damage in this game. Where am I? Oh, hello. Oh! No, sir, eat! <laughs> oh, no! Actually. <laughs> hello! I... So this, uh, the fireballs from our butt probably stack as well, don't they? They do. So we... What does it do? That what, what does it increase? I would, ins I would assume the damage goes up, but... Do we just shoot out more fireballs? Do we, are we just shooting out more? Is that just what it is? Oops, I just like went out of my way to take all of those. We might just be doing more. Which is also fine. Bloop. Pretty sure we locked ourselves out of getting that, uh, the thing where we can dash into enemies. Is, is he charging his laser? Is he volatile? He sure looks like he's gonna go kaboom. Or not? Well, he's gone now. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> this is so good. This is this game just really checks all those uh, the build creating boxes to me. I see. Oh, are those mines? Boost. How? Why? How? 
Am I invincible for a sec? Oh, uh-oh. I couldn't go the way I wanted. There we go. This is bad. This is bad. Just dodge, just dodge, just dodge. Okay, we're good. Shields are back. <laughs> just feel like I need to clear that stuff out, you know? Oh, boy. This guy's a spooky guy for me. Whoop. All right. Just keep on going past. <laughs> Whatever, living hell, man. All right. Uh. All right, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Uh, would spread be good? I'm not saying that that's what that has there. Uh, rampage, maybe. Shield cooldown. That that's a good idea. That is a very good idea. <laughs> so, we are burning him, right? He is taking the burning damage. He's just. I don't know, he's not not blowing up. I guess it's because he's he wasn't been like he wasn't been shooting lots of bullets, you know? Oh! <laughs> that makes so much sense. That's incredibly valid. That is incredibly valid. <laughs> I'm shocked it lasted as long as it did. Oh my god, I'm absolutely floored it lasted as long as it did. I'm so happy that that's possible. But you know what we're going to do? We're going to be, uh, for our second run, encounters are nastier. The random chance that enemies are elite or champions are increased. Starting wave is increased by 12. Sure. Waves advance faster. Enemies enter the fray more frequently. Let's do it. Let's, for our second run, since we need it to be short anyways, we'll do this. But I got to say, I am so happy. Oh. Interesting. I'm so happy about how that run, like, kind of shook shook out there. Let's go with the railgun, I guess. It was very, very unique, very interesting, and, uh, you know, just every single run I've had has just proven how uh, customizable and ridiculous and fun this game can get. And that is just fantastic. Uh, reflect. I did like that. Slows enemies and projectiles within the radius. Oh, look at that. Yeah, we're already, uh... Fighting, yeah. Fighting, yeah. Fragile construct-focused form. Rate of fire, projectile spread. I don't know that I like any of these for us right now. Sure, let's get this and maybe we'll go construct. Like, just because I'm kind of snipey right now doesn't mean I gotta stay snipey. Okay. Let's see. Is there any... I'm not seeing any drones. There we go. So let me just check. Plus two limit to all basic, standard constructs. Plus one limit to advanced constructs. I'm assuming this is an advanced construct. I guess I thought that was the case. Turret. Cool. Put down my turret. Ah, it's like on a little cooldown up at the top or something. Is that what's that? And I can like, su I can summon them for uh, whenever I have them like off cooldown is my guess. That's different. Okay. It's different what I anticipated. Okay, so there we go. We did, we did spawn another one of the, all right. It does work how I thought. Alright, so we're gonna finally do that kind of a build. So it's, Is that just like it's in my uh, my queue now, kind of? Or no, there we go, we spawned it. I spawned it by pressing two. And it looks like maybe if one of our 
little drone buddies dies, we'd actually uh, spawn another one just like immediately. Is that what I'm getting at? Do it. It's an army. So I don't know how many of those ones we can have, but I'm assuming they're just getting. Yep, they're just they're just starting to spawn. Oh boy. I am weak myself, though. I mean, it makes sense. We, we just slammed on all of the, uh, the upper difficulty stuff. Just boom right like that. Bravado. Your body gear base stats are improved by 10%. Unique powers improved by 15%. But <laughs> enemies in counter are always either elites or champions. Okay. While a turret's nearby, you'll recover three hull and shields. Plus 30% shield effect power and shield effect radius for shields protecting a turret. Uh, maybe. Make your ally construct become stronger as you do. That sounds like a good call. So it looks like the turret I have to actively put down by pressing two, I think, is what I pressed to get him to go down. Protect me, little drone buddies. Let's see if I can press... All right, there, two turrets. Two turrets out on the town. Can we kill our own turrets? No friendly fire, right? Right. I don't know if it's that they're dying or if it's uh, they're running out of time. Interceptor. Your ally is transformed into an interceptor. It fires your weapon in addition to its own at a slower rate of fire. Okay, well... Oh my god. Okay, well, boy, howdy. Even these builds are getting really cool and stupid. I didn't, uh, for some reason, I didn't think that uh, there would be, like, another whole extra talent tree that's opening up afterwards. That's crazy. Wingman. Orbits your nose and shares your facing direction instead of hunting down. Okay. Oh, my God. That's so cool. Greatly improves, improves their passive attack avoidance if you have evasion. Its cooldown is reduced to 1.5 seconds. Hmm. Sure. So they're in the front of me, and they can, like... We're in, like, a little... little. I love it. We're a little group together. So they just fire their shots, kind of, like, whoop, converging on my pointer here. But they just go whenever they want. Yep, they just go... Or not when they want. They, they go on a cooldown. Fires your weapon more frequently, plus two projectiles. Put down the turret, just because... Oh my god, I cannot wait to do this build again, too. Literally every single build I've had, I'm like, I can't wait to do this again later. But, like, better. Because even this, were like... These little uh, the drones, we're kind of using them almost as a shield as well. It's so nice. Uh, if your shield breaks, well, uh, nope. Rapid fire, blast radius. Size damage, blast radius, sure. <laughs> oh my god. Eh, I wonder if they, uh, if, if it scales off of my, um, oh my god. My fire rate for them or not. God, this is so cool. This game just keeps getting better. Shouldn't have been standing there, achievement. Penetrate 20 or more targets with one railgun projectile. I guess it had something to do with the, uh, the ads as well. We'll give him the evasion. Wait, is that all? Your ally attempts to dodge all allies, or is it just... Wait, shoot. I just wanted to, I'll be honest, I literally just want to pick everything that has to do with these, uh, little space friends. Because they are so cool. Okay. <laughs> Come on, we're going to get these one of these, one of these days. Oops. Oh, get out of there.
Oops, not the direction I wanted to go. Boy. He is definitely a son of a gun. Oh. My little ad boys are gone. I guess they uh, they got blown up. How do I get them back here? Oh no. Okay, we got one back. We also kind of like wasted our turrets. We should have like tried to put it literally inside. That would have been good. God, his health pool. Or my damage, one of the two, is pretty garbage. Oops. Okay. All right, I want to get inside over here. Put down the turret, but I don't think he's going to be able to aim inside. I can't. I can't even break one. There we go. Oh, boy. Why'd you have to spawn there? Just want to protect my children. Plain dad. I'm a plain I'm a plain papa. Okay. It's fine. You can deal with that. Oh no. Oh no. Alright, come on. Come on, turret. Put in the work. This is taking so much longer. I don't know if it's just the, the difficulty or if it's the difficulty in the build or if it's just the build. I don't know anything. Oops. Walked right through that. Uh-oh. Is it just spawning an extra wave here because we're taking so long? Is that what just happened? It was like, come on, you gotta... What? <laughs> it's like, you gotta make a move sometime. Mines. Maybe. Ally specialists. 20% ally max hull. Improve their avoidance. Extra projectiles. Extra assembly speed. Wait. Ally. So it... It's specializing in just this ally. I mean, I do prefer them to the others. So, sure. Let's let's do it just to just to see it for a little bit here. Oh my god, cuz I do not expect this run to go on much longer anyway, so I just want to see what this looks like if we go all in on buffing them the hell up. I think I'd like to try out uh, even a maybe a different weapon with this ally. Cuz I feel like this is not the best one it could be. Salvo sounds great. Do they... Okay, so they, they just do their own little blast every once in a while. Okay. I'm gonna probably die here. Wow, they really just threw it all at me at the same time there. Dang! I mean, the fact that that got that score is, is pretty telling. Uh, I think if we had, like, a little bit more logical higher damage build. I think we could have maybe slapped together something that would have lasted <laughs> long enough to beat our other score with that one, which is pretty telling about, yeah, how hard it, it really is there. Uh, wave reach 45. It took, yeah, reaching wave 45 in only seven and a half or well, eh, eight minutes is pretty darn, pretty darn fast, I think. Uh, new mod tree unlocked. Skirmish boosts the damage from your next crash after you fire your weapon and vice versa. Interesting. So, I think that that would have actually worked really, really well with the first build that we tried to go for today to here. Holy mole. All right. Let's, uh, I want to check out the unlocks, see where we're at as far as this goes. Okay, so we're missing one, two, three. We're still missing three whole trees. After that, we're missing super mods. Which I don't know what's up with those. There's wild mods. Wait, base mod trees. So yeah, we have all the base mod trees. But we're missing, yeah. It looks like maybe these are... These are all like kind of offshoot ones, seems to be the case. Kind of, sort of. 
And then on top of that, we obviously have all this gear that we need to unlock still. We have other challenge modes to unlock. And we, we're still missing two features, apparently. Okay, so the hyper boost has been coming from the trains. Gotcha. Holy moly, man. Anywho, that is that, and that is going to do it for today for Nova Drift. I had a blast. I know it didn't go as long as the other run, but I, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Both... Uh, both runs were neat. I'm glad we did the super hard uh, experiment run to see kind of what this stuff is like. Maybe we will play with it at some point. But for now, I think we will stick it to, you know, endless wild metamorphosis for now. And we will just uh, do that. And then if we feel like we need to, to, the run would be too short or the episode would be too short, we'll slap in a hard mode run after that. That's I think that's going to be how we do things, at least for a little bit here. Uh, I don't think there's... I don't think there's any kind of like daily or anything. Nope. That'd be a that'd be a cool fun thing to do is to kind of give you a ship a, a ship build that you're sort of forced to get, and then maybe give you like a couple options. That'd be really fun. But for now, sorry. I just I'm so excited about this game. That's why I'm rambling so much. If you enjoy the video, and you want this series to stay on my channel, make sure to hit the like button. Make sure to comment, especially right now early on in the series. That's what helps it rank higher than other stuff on the search results in the recommendeds. That is one thing that you can do to actually impact how fast my channel grows. It's really, really quick and easy and neat, but you know, obviously only do it if you did enjoy the video and you want to see more of it, but that's going to do it. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Roblox more every single day, and I will see you next time. Bye.